we can't take Jesus enough to thank you so much. And Father, right now we pray for this last week of Christmas that we learn from your word. In your son, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay. Now.
whole cohort. This woman, she never was hurt. When she stepped in her clothes, she bought new clothes, new boots, ready. But something, one woman saying, I need new shoes, need new clothes. She bought a torn cloth and frame. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Come. How many minutes? Why not? Fine. Ran back. Changed clothes from her new clothes to old ones. Oh. Excuse me. I have some new clothes for you. What did woman do? Got up. Cried and hurt. And she said, "I know that you need new clothes. Tell you what." Old one, sweat, down here. Mine, not warm, dry. She didn't say, hey, look, look, look. No. What? Best position. In the Revelation, clients, you teach it. One of the things that we were talking about before was that God gave to every person His Spirit when they were born. And that's why the Gentiles didn't have an excuse when they were thinking Jews before said better than you. But Paul said no. You know what's right and what's wrong. You can't even live, and I'm gonna I'm gonna add the meaning of, of Gordon. You can't even live with what God put inside of you, understanding right from wrong. All of us know if a person's hungry. All of us know if a person is thirsty, if they need clothes. To stay warm. That's spiritual. That's the part of God that's put in each one of us. So, wisdom is paying attention to the Spirit of God that's in each one of you. That's true wisdom. What he's talking about here is you're not even paying attention to what was born inside of you with God, Spirit. Don't have an excuse. Say, well, I can't read. I've not heard Jesus' words yet. No, that's not an excuse. You have the Spirit of God in you. You know right from wrong.
important for all of us here today. People always say, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Someone that's in a family that has a relationship with Jesus and has talked to Jesus as Jesus grew up and all of that, he knows what Jesus has thought. And he saw Jesus beat, he saw Jesus crucified, and he heard Jesus' words on the cross. What he's trying to tell everyone there. You're crazy. You're crazy if you don't choose my brother. Because my brother wants the best for you. You have the Spirit of God in you. Live like that. Show it to other people. Be good. Because you don't want to be an enemy of God. Nothing? The scripture says the Spirit of God made to live in us what us only for himself. <laughs> but the kindness of God shall be greater. As the scripture says, God is a 
on the I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to become old, but I've seen many things happen. I've seen people that thought self, self, self. And what happens is when you think of self, 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 and you leave, you leave people to believe that self is so important. Self's not important. And y'all remember many times I've always said that Carl Moore and I are twins. I have never seen anyone act as good to me, to the church, all. He acts like I want to be acting. And anyone, and I don't believe it will happen, if anyone gives up on God because Carl Moore leaves and Nina leaves, you'll not only make God sad, you'll, you're going to make Carl Moore sad, and you're going to make me very sad, because your life is so important, never Never run away from God. That is crazy. And that's what we've been studying up here. You have the Spirit of God <coughs> inside you. You know right from wrong. So I don't even know where that talk is coming from. And I don't even want to know. But it sounds like Zeph has heard that talk. And I was watching Carl Moore, and I was watching his head. It sounds like he's heard the same thing. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. That's the one that's to be heard. The church is going to continue. It's going to grow in numbers and all of that. And you're only hurting yourself. If you're thinking like that, what did James, now remember, that's the brother of Jesus. What did he say to that? Don't do that. You're crazy if you do that. You're from the world. You are following the devil to do that. Don't do that. Be part of Don't leave him. Oh, I'll warn that. Hi. Hi. Pay attention. I want to say to all of you, you know that the time is passing fast. And you know, I am so very happy with all of you, all of the women. But I see women improving and growing. But more important, we all need to help one another and love one another. The men? Why are you men are so small in number? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All of the men we do have brought. Many of the men think, I'm a good man. But men, we can make mistakes. And you women, please. Please, honey. I want you to pay attention, honey. But please, don't be boastful. 
Tell you about yourself is more important than all. And better than the men? Finish that. Finish that. Why? Brother Zeth, to be honest with you, he is a young man. He's young enough to be my son. You know, I always am patient with you. But, please, you know, I have a son brother here. Even though know, he happened to be white. <laughs> Remember, we're both not perfect. That's not perfect. But I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here, not only tonight on me, for Gordon and Zeth and Lewis Perry. Remember, this is the church. It's not perfect. It's filled up with people. But we can become better. For some reason, Nina, sometimes she talks, communicates, things that God wants us to get to understand it. But really, man, you know, I'm talking about you. Pay attention. I'm the teacher, okay? Anyway, she was wild. Been here a long time. More than 10 years. Longer than before I was in any of these other places. Keep pressure here? No. God Himself. He chooses the time. But God Himself is in control. Plus, God Himself has a plan. Plus, God knows what's best for Himself also. That place to God first. And now, He's allowing us to know that we need to move on. He Himself always makes His plan better for everyone. For me, I'm warning all of you, please, you continue helping one another here. Helping Gordon, helping Zeph, helping Lewis Perry, whatever it's on. And I'm going to hear. I'll be listening. <laughs> How things are here when I go. Plenty of birds are flying around. <laughs> the birds are coming. I can send a bird over to me in Dallas and I'll receive it. Death gossip. Fast, really. Through VP, through texting, through Facebook. Many deaths know how to control themselves. They just chatter all the time. They don't know how to control themselves. Negative. So it's so easy for them. And I'm going to be checking on them in Facebook. And I'll say, what I'll do, I'll shake my head and say, shame on you. Shame on you. Please avoid anything that's negative on Facebook. Avoid negative on texting. Avoid negative on Facebook. CP. If the person that travel around and you drive and arrive, you know about yourself, I'm gonna tell you all these stories. It's so easy to blur out everybody. Blur out here and there and there. Come on. Don't do that, please. You're my brothers and sisters. And I'm going to be honest with you. I want the group big. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Bus is old. Don't worry about it. Be patient. You be successful. You eventually get a new back. Understand. Ernestine, Tim, Mother, she finished warning. Say, hey, you need to help the death minister. Maybe Tim. Ooh, he's not forgotten, maybe. Ask all. Help Gordon. Ryan Tim. 
Hoya, 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 hoya. Oh, you better watch. You better watch. Four people here. Bring them to God. Okay? I will do. I thank you. Some of you. You are back. And you're back. And you're back. That's you're it. Back. Recently, me and I went to vacation. We were shocked at one of our beautiful, beautiful women friends. His daughter is a beautiful woman. Black girl. So, <coughs> she did die. Oh, 50, 50. Married to a wonderful black deaf man, himself, my best friend. Who was your name? I was there. Yeah, a little bit older than Jeff, yes. Well, I said this. About 47, 50. He was president of the National Deaf Black. <coughs> he was so shocked that one night his wife had pain. His wife said, Don't worry, I'll be okay. I'll be alright. Okay. Not the first time he didn't seem like this. First time he really talked about the problem. Remember all, it's important that we take care of ourselves. Take care of ourselves, check in with the doctor and all these things. Do your checkups and all that. Somehow it hit that night. What happened? Heart attack. Had to hurry. So, emergency and all, arrived at the hospital. Took her in the hospital. Didn't make it. Go Shocked all the black deaf community. The deaf, white, hearing, Spanish, because that woman got a new job. She was doing it with her husband. Get a new job. Well, before, husband was a divorce. Wife worked. Husband worked. Independent. She went in, traveling back and forth. But the new baby was his wife again. About three years. Well, now both of them had jobs. Both couldn't be together. God bless both of them. Beautiful couple. So highly educated. You know, it's pretty better than my, my time in the world. But when the wife died, it was just hard to go. Stop. Shock to all the group. Sally Hat and all the other. Many deaf college groups, programs. Were shocked. So I, I went. I'm happy that deaf women from there went to the funeral, brought a video to show us 57 people showed up. Deaf directors, South Carolina, all together. It was a very emotional video. So, black girl family. Beautiful personality. Beautiful character. So, we lost beautiful sister. And I'm praying. There's seven people plus. I don't know about the camera and people over there. 
Now we're up to you now. And watch. Now we watch. Here's the way. Here's the coach of this beautiful person. To be with him. Now all of us should not be too sad. It's important to have joy. And be happy for her. But she got so long. She's made room for us. All of you people, myself, have been in touch with her because I know her husband. He's quite sure. I didn't know her the wife that well, but I confess that she's a beautiful person. So sensitive. She likes life. That's the only thing about that. <laughs> She's out there. Husband cried yet. Because he lost his better half. You never know what's going to happen to you. The same with God. It's important that we all hold on to our faith in God. Close it with a prayer. Include my wife in my prayer. She's going to have surgery tomorrow. Just pray for all of us. And I will continue to pray for all. Believe the people out in the world. You are better people than the people out there in the world. And we need to be the same as the people out in the world. Not all people out in the world are lost. No. Some are involved in church. Some are missionaries, some are teachers, some are preachers. It's not enough. We as the deaf people, we need to be working with them. Understand? Not be too easy friends of the world. People like partying and drinking and drugs, gambling. Be careful of yourself. Love yourself. Now God loves God loves you, so you love him first, okay? Please. <coughs> Continue with this death ministry. I want to see it going on now. I want to see you rise it up again and again. Church needs to be practiced with you, but it's important that you Help these men. Help Gordon. Help Fred. Zeb. Lewis Perry. If all of you, you can succeed with that. Even though Roy and I have prayed, Ginger prayed for many years, both are old now. They're looking to go to hell. And I'm sure you want to go to heaven too. I'm going to move to Dallas. All of y'all are welcome to come visit us. We can make you a new bus. Maybe you can come visit us with a new bus. It's playing. It's important for you guys. Gordon. Me. Again and again. And now, uh, come here. Visit. Support. Okay? Let's pray. Father God, thank you for being our God. Thank you for your great sacrifice and also your love. You sent your son Jesus who came to this world not to punish us but to save us. And you already know so many people have found this difficult to believe. Difficult to understand. But like what Jesus said, he died on the cross. Father, please forgive them for they don't even know what they're doing. Awesome. You are God. Awesome Jesus is. I want to say thank you, Father, for 
cooling the spirit to serve it. Spirit that touches it. All of us. The good and the bad don't make any difference. The spirit is there with us. And it helps us to be patient. To be suffering. Because Jesus suffered. And we follow Jesus. He's suffering. No matter what. No matter how hard life is. Else in the town. We just pray, please protect us, all of us, and help us to protect others. Help us to protect our mind, heart, and spirit. Continue to be strong and follow Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior. Keep that old devil away from us. Help us not to forget Jesus. On the first week, first day of the week, during the Lord's Supper, his death. Never forget that Jesus. It's Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and you are all one in that. And we live in you. Help us to be strong, no matter how difficult this world can make us. Help us. Not to forget to hold on to you, our faith, until the end of time. For all of us, we can have a better place in heaven. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen.